This is I'm Stark, and in this video we will be looking at the end of America's nuclear monopoly, NSC-68, and the H-bomb. So on August the 29th of 1949, the nuclear monopoly of America ended when the Soviets tested their first atomic bomb. Now this was done in northern Kazakhstan, where specially constructed buildings and caged animals were placed near the site, and both of these were destroyed from the 20 kiloton explosion. Now at first this Soviet test was secret, but American planes soon picked up signs of radioactive fallout and Truman announced that the atomic explosion had happened on the 23rd of September. So the US administration was shocked at first because they believed that their monopoly would last significantly longer. And they also were particularly incensed upon hearing that the physician Klaus Fuchs had been passing atomic secrets to the Soviets after previously working with the Americans. So after the US nuclear monopoly had ended and China had been lost to the communists, Acheson ordered a review of US objectives and priorities, and this was led by Paul Nitzer. And this was in the form of a National Security Council Resolution 68, in short, NSC 68. And this report stressed the importance of building the political, economic and military power of the US. And the authors of this 58-page memorandum stressed that the Soviet threat would be increased with the addition of nuclear weapons and the US should combat this with their own in increase in production. The authors also ruled out a return to isolationism and any nuclear attack on the Soviet Union which would be likely to invite back retaliation. Instead concluded that a military build-up was the only valid option. However, many officials did disagree with this at first, as they believed that the US already had a substantial military advantage over the USSR. And these people included the Secretary of Defense Louis Johnson and diplomats such as George Kennan and Charles Bolan. However, after the Korean War broke out in 1950, which we will learn about in our next episode, the NSC 68 recommendations instantly became policy. Now the final thing to talk about is the H-bomb, which is a thermonuclear weapon. And the idea of a hydrogen bomb had been around since 1942, yet there was little commitment to its development. Now whereas the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki were powered by nuclear fission, this bomb would be powered by nuclear fusion, which would mean that it would be more powerful. So the project to design the H-bomb was carried out at Los Alamos in New Mexico and around a dozen American scientists worked on its creation. Now its first test was done in November 1952 where it completely vaporised the island of Elugalab. Now within two years it was transformed into a usable bomb and the Americans detonated this on the 1st of March 1954 in the Marshall Islands under the name of Bravo. Now the bomb here proved to be 750 to a thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima and it left a crater which was 6,500 feet wide. Now the radioactive fallout even travelled hundreds of miles and it even contaminated a Japanese fishing boat and set off radiation detectors around the world. Now this served as a warning to the world and even Eisenhower stated that atomic war will destroy civilians. However, no American actually knew how this bomb could be used um, because they were so powerful. So instead, it was seen mainly as a psychological weapon. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.